So when you're editing things, things in, in a way that is comfortable. So you need a block, you need a strap, you need a roll, and we'll be using some a wall, some wall for that. Sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align the back of the skull sacrum, let your rest onto your thighs, and lift your belly down from the chest. And then give yourself a moment and a moment to settle as you prepare for practice. Feeling for stepping into a safe, a safe space. A space that allows you to be today, a space that makes no judgments of you. So if you must make judgments of yourself, then have compassion for self. The intent today is to work with the physical sensations that are emerging for you in, the, in your practice. To be aware of what is going on inside of yourself and to stay with the experience. Be aware of the emotions that are emerging. And stay with how you feel. Allow yourself to be present and to be centered. The feeling for that centering is you press your sit bones to the floor, feel as if your coccyx is down central and then breathe in, lengthening up from there. Feel as if you're sucking energy up from the earth, moving this rib pelvis into belly, up into heart. And breathe out to relax your forehead. Feet are active. Feel your feet pressing to the floor. And then feel that connection. And breathe in. As you breathe, open your side ribs up. So creating more space around your heart. And exhale. Relax your jaw. Now breathe into back of the heart and using this breath to energize your heart. Exhale, relax your neck. On the next breath, lift sternum. Keep feeling as if your sternum is lifting. Lift sternum lifts up towards your chin. Keep chest lifted. On exhale. Shoulders are softening, chest remains high. And inhale, release. Open your eyes and bring the soles of your feet together for uh, Balakanasanas. Flex the toes back towards your shins. Heels press together, the ball of the foot presses together. And feel the opening for the arc of your foot. Bring your hands back by hips for Pranayama. Uh, Kapala Bhasha breathing in. Baraka. Aim for aim for a hundred pumps today. So be active, spine long. Take a deep breath and clear everything out with exhale. So exhale completely. And then now take a partial breath. And sharp exhales through the nose, moving belly. 100 pumps. And then when you finish, take a deep breath 
Fill yourself up with this breath from tips of toes right through the whole of your body. And then hold the breath. As you hold, the spine is long. But feel the softening around your chest. Neck is relaxed, jaw relaxes. And take intention out of your body. Feeling that sense of openness as you move the breath through your body. Uriana, hands are forward of your shins and strong exhale through mouth. Exhale completely, drop the chin to chest, pull your belly in, pull it in, pull it up and feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Feel your hollowing your belly out. Use the press of your hands to the floor to give you a little bit more traction as you're lengthening ribs away from waist. Relax your belly, stay here and then breathe in, spread ribs sideways. And leave with your chest on exhale as you fold. And then on the next breath, allow the breath to press your lower back. And exhale as you fold. Breathe to sternum. Feel as if you're moving chest up away from diaphragm, diaphragm lifts away from belly. Belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you come. One more breath. Breathe into where you feel this most. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, release. Push the floor away. Breathe in as you come all the way on back. Half lotus, so half lotus spinal twist. Straighten your, sorry, bring your right foot towards the left sit bone and your left foot is over your right thigh for half lotus. You want to strap, you're placing the strap around your left foot and your left hand comes around and takes hold of the strap or slide the hand into clothing or take hold of your left foot with left hand. Or stay cross leg seated if this is a difficult pose for you or if it causes you pain or discomfort. Inhale, bring your right arm across your uh, left thigh. And as you exhale, twist to the left. Now breathe and lift chest. Feel for pressing sit bone to the floor as you twist to the left on exhale. Feet are active. Deep breath, expand your ribs. And as you breathe out, you're twisting to left. Keep the spine long. One more like this. Deep breath, keep feeling for lengthening spine. And twist to the left on exhale. Inhale, release. Shoelace pose with your right left foot over your right, reach out with your heels, flexing the toes back towards your shins. This is twisting shoelace towards your left foot. You can make the pose easier, having the foot onto the uh, calf or the foot onto the floor, or stay cross leg seated. And also place a block under your left foot. Bring your right hand by right hip, then put the fan to the floor, 12 inches away from the hip. Press down into left sit bone, as you breathe in, you're reaching the left arm up, opening the lower back. You breathe out, the left hand is to the floor, and your left foot presses against your left arm. Now breathe in and lengthen left ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, you're folding towards your left foot. Chest moves to left foot. Breathe in and lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, take it a little deeper if you can, but keep pressing your left sit bone back to full. And breathe in to expand your ribs. 
squeeze out, you go in a little deeper. Keep sending left sit bone back forward. Inhale, release, push the door away, breathe in as you come up. Twist towards your left hand. The left hand is to the, onto the floor about 12 inches away from left hip. Press down into your right sit bone, breathe in, reach your right arm up, opening side ribs. And as you breathe out, the hand is coming down to the floor. As you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, you're folding over your left thigh. Breathe to chest and lift chest. Press your sit bone to floor as you fold over your left thigh. Now take this breath to where you feel this most and then allow the breath to Bring a healing energy to this area. And as you breathe out, you fold in towards your left thigh. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come on up. Change the cross of your leg. So your right foot is onto your left thigh by your hip crease for half lotus. If you're using a strap, then you can. Place the strap around your uh, right foot or ankle. Bring your right arm around the back and take either have the hands to the floor or the hands slide into the waistband or take hold of the strap. Then breathe in and bring your left arm across your right thigh. As you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Now breathe to sternum and fill yourself up with this breath. Keep the spine long as you twist to the right. As you breathe in, spread your ribs out towards your armpits so you're actually spreading your lungs. And as you breathe out, twist, twist to the right. One more breath. Feel your sit bones pressing to floor and then breathe in lengthen vertebrae by vertebrae as you lengthen up. And as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Inhale, release. Half lotus, twisting towards your left foot. So your left foot is on your uh, right thigh, reach your heels away from your flexor toes. Make the adjustments that you need so you're doing the pose that works best for you today. Your right, left hand is by hip, reach the hands about 12 inches away from the hip. Press your right sit bone back to floor, and then breathe in, reaching your right arm is up. And as you breathe out, the hand is down, your right foot is pressing against your right arm. Now breathe in and feel you're gently gliding your ribs away from that right hip. As you breathe out, lead with your chest as you fold over your left thigh. Right sit bones presses to floor. Breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, moving chest closer towards your left thigh, but your right sit bones eases back to floor. Now feel the energy that you are generating here and breathe. Breathe into lower back. And breathe out as you fold towards your right foot. Inhale, release, then ease up. Twisting shoelace towards your right thigh. Right hand is by hip, reach the hand about 12 inches away from right hip. Press into left sit bone. Inhale, stretching your left arm is up. And as you breathe out, the left hand is down to the floor. Breathe in and feel the moving belly away from your left back. And as you breathe out, you're folding over your right back. Breathe in, glide your right ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, leave with chest as you fold. One more breath, sit those presses down and then lengthening the ribs away from sacrum on the breath. And as you breathe out, fold. Inhale, release. Push the floor away, breathe in as you come on, on forward, right up. 
straighter legs. So moving into your seated side bend with one leg straight, straighten your left leg. Left leg is reaching straight forward. Your right foot is tucked in, so the heel is by the groin. You have the option of going further by bringing your right foot back so that the right heel is by your glute. You've taken your foot back, then take your right hand back and take hold of the right ankle. Left leg is straight as it reaches forward. If you're not taking hold of your right ankle, the right fingertips are to the floor. And feel the lifting out of your left side. The left sit bone presses the floor. Breathe in, reach your left arm up. As you breathe out, left arm is down on the inside of your left leg. Try not to collapse over that thigh. Here, use your hand, push the floor away, lengthen out of left side. Breathe in, lift sternum. And feel the moving chest to chin. And as you breathe out, relax your right shoulder away from right hip. Now breathe to the right side of neck. Deep breath. And exhale. Relax your jaw. Chin lower slightly towards the left side of chest. Press down, feel as if you're pressing down into your left sit bone, and then breathe in, lengthen out of left side. Glide your right shoulder away from right ear on exhale. And the next breath, slide your right arm all the way around the back and tucking it onto your left thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, squeeze your right shoulder down as if you're squeezing shoulder blade towards each other. Feel this right down from your pelvic bowl as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Lift your diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, roll your chest slightly upwards as you glide your right shoulder away from right here. Inhale, release your right arm, reach your right arm up to ceiling. Chest opener as you breathe out, arc chest forward and reach that right arm straight back. And breathe, breathe into back of heart, energizing your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, lengthening that right arm back, feel the beams that move through the fingertips as you reach back. On the next breath, stretch your right arm up to sky. And as you breathe out, lengthening your right arm over right ear. Breathe as if you're breathing into your right armpits and feel the ribs opening to side. And as you breathe out, as you reach your right arm forward, glide your left, uh, the belly away from left thigh. Deep breath, lift belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, fold forward. So the hands are either side of your left foot and you're folding forward, sternum towards your uh, shin or to ankle. Your hamstrings feeling really tight, then bend your left knee. Otherwise, sit bones, press it back and breathe. Lift, lengthen away from sacrum. Without forcing on the exhale, you're folding forward. You can use your hands to give your support. So feel as if you're pushing the floor away as you breathe and lift, lift belly, lift diaphragm, from lift chest. Now use your hands against the floor to glide your belly away from pelvis, move your chest forward, but your neck is relaxed and the shoulders are soft away from your ears. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up and change. Straighten your right leg. Tuck your left foot in so the heel is by the groin. You have the option of going further by bringing your uh, left foot back so the heel is by the groin. Moving your thighs away from each other. Your left arm reaches back, it grabs hold of the ankle or the hand fingertips to the floor if your foot is not coming down. 
Inhale, open up your right side as you reach your right fingertips to the sky. You breathe out, the hand is down on the inside of right leg. Relax right ear with right shoulder. If you're not holding your left ankle, lift your left hand up and reach it back. Fingertips 12 inches from the sky. Right ribs up away from right tip as if the ribs comes to the armpit. Exhale, glide your left shoulder away from your left ear. Breathe to the left side of neck, deep breath. And exhale, relax your jaw. Chin is towards the left, the, towards the right side of the chest. On the next breath, slide your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, glide, glide your left shoulder down. So feel the opening through the left side of the chest. Breathe in, sit bones presses down, but your lengthening ribs are away from sacrum. And exhale, your left shoulder is down as if you're squeezing shoulder base towards each other. Chest open up. On the next breath, release your left arm, reach your left arm skywards. And exhale, reach your left arm away from your left ear. Your right hand feels as if it's pushing the floor away. So don't collapse into your right hip. Breathe in and breathe. Breathe to heart, energizing heart with breath. And exhale, send that left arm back. Foot is active. Both feet are active. Now stretch your left arm up to ceiling. Exhale, lengthen your left arm forward over left ear. Don't allow the hand to lower, become lower than your left ear. Breathe in, lift and lengthen your right ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, as you reach your left arm forward, reach your sit bones back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, expand your ribs to armpit. As you breathe out, fold forward over your right shin. Feet active, toes are straight. Now breathe in and lift. Lift belly, lift diaphragm. Feel for moving out of your right thigh. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward over your right shin. Breathe into lower back and lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, let, you, let your body just melt forward. One more breath to your spot. And exhale. Forward. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in. As you come all the way on the way back up, release your legs. Coming into your abdominal sequence, so lie down on your back for elbow to knee. Do elbow to knee, and then today we'll do elbow to knee and star spiral pulse. So lie down onto your back, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. If your back is tweaking, you can do the pose with your feet to the floor. Uh, from here, your back was tweaky, your feet on the floor, you inhale, you lift your head, shoulder blades up, you pause. When you exhale, you curl your tailbone up, your elbows are directly, belly's in. You can lift one foot up, you can straighten that leg. You're coming back to center and the foot presses to the floor. Otherwise, lift your hands up behind your head and neck, lift your feet up off the floor, press your lower back down to the floor. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor, hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up. And reach your elbows to your left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Straighten your right foot. And then send your right thigh away from right hip. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale. Come back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath. Pressing your lower back to the floor. Exhale. Curl the elbows up. Reach your elbows to your right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Straighten that left leg. And then reach forward with the ball of your left foot. Pull belly in. 
Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold a breath, pressing your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach your elbows to your left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Relax your right hip. Extend your right thigh forward away from waist. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl to elbows up, elbows to right knee. Extend your left leg forward. Reach out, spread the toes as you send your left thigh bone forward away from left hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing the top rib of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl to elbows up, your elbows into left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Reach out, spread the toes. Keep reaching forward with the ball of your right foot. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl to elbows up, your elbows into right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Squeeze your left sit bone to tailbone. Stretch your left leg forward. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up, your elbows into the left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Now squeeze your right sit bone to tailbone. Send your left right leg forward. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up, your elbows into right knee. Straighten left leg. Relax your left hip. Curl tailbone up. Reach your left leg forward. Pull belly in. Inhale. Come back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath. Star spiral pulse. Exhale. Curl tailbone up. Your elbows into left knee. Reach your right leg up. Bend your right knee and flex the toes towards the shin. Now curl tailbone up and pulse. Reach up with your left right heel. Pulse, keep reaching up and pulse three times. Now send your right heel up towards the sky. Keep the chest lifted, reach your elbows up. Pull lower belly in. Feel the ribs compress onto belly. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up. Reach your elbows to your right knee. Left leg is reaching up. Bend the left knee slightly. As you curl the elbow up, pulse, reach up with your left heel. Pulse and pulse. Now keep reaching that left heel up, toes flex to shins. Pull belly in. Reach your right elbow up. Press your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up, your elbows into left knee. You're reaching the right leg up, knees bent slightly. Curl the elbows up and then pulse, pulse, and pulse. Keep feeling as if you're sending your right thigh away from here. Toes flex the shins, pull lower belly in. Reach your left elbow up, pull belly in, and press your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows into the right knee, reach the left leg up. Now curl the elbow up and then pulse. Pulse, keep reaching up with your left heel. Pulse, keep reaching that left heel up, pull belly in and press your lower back to floor. Reach your right elbow up. Inhale. Come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and exhale, release. Lower head and shoulders to the floor, and place the soles of your feet to the floor. Grab hold of your roll for your next pose today, which is gate opener. The roll is placed between your thighs, your hands are clasped behind your head and neck, and your feet are lifting off the floor. You can do this with the soles of your feet against the wall. You can do this with the knees bent or the feet to the floor. So any of those, 
works for you if your back is to you. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Now breathe into lower back. Press your lower back to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze, roll, send your legs straight up, pull belly in. Inhale, place your left hand onto the roll and straddle the legs. Reach out, spread the toes. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone up to the roll as you press your hands down. Now lengthen, keep lengthening the leg to the side. Pull belly in, reach your right elbow up. Pull belly in and press your lower back to floor. In our legs together, hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll. Reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze the roll, stretching your legs to the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, place your right hand onto the roll and straddle the hill. And as you breathe out, as you curl the elbow up to the roll, press your hands down to the roll. You're lengthening your legs to the side. Reach your left elbow up to the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, legs together. Hands behind your head. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Stretch your legs to the ceiling. Pull belly in. In our legs, uh, place your left hand onto the roll and straddle the legs. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone up to the roll and press your hands to the, to the roll. Stretch your legs out towards the side. Reach your right elbow up to sky. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, legs together. Hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Stretching your legs to the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, place your right hand onto the roll and straddle your legs. And as you exhale, as you curl pubic bone onto the roll, press your hands down to the roll. Stretch your legs to the side. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. And exhale, bend the knees and place the soles of your feet to. Grab hold of your block for your next pose, abs with a block. Block is down by your side in touching distance. So your next pose is bridge, bridge with the block. Reach down with your fingertips, brush your heels with your fingertips. And line up your heels so the heels are aligned with your sit bones or they are hip distance apart. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. So in this sequence, uh, you will be doing uh, bridge, lifting up, and doing uh, wrist stretches, stage one and two. So stage one is moving each finger back. Stage two is bringing your hands and opening up the wrist. From there, you will then work with one leg up, reaching up, Staying there for about four to five breaths. The foot comes back down, knee to chest, then the foot to the floor. The other leg comes up and it reaches up towards the sky. So you can, if you want to do this without the block, you can, but using the block just to give you a little bit more opening and take some of the tension out of back. Okay, so block is within touching distance. Arms are relaxed by your side. Take a deep breath, lengthening belly away from pelvis, moving chest to chin. Press your feet to floor, exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up, away from the floor. Coming into wrist stretches. So reach your left hand up, take hold of the little finger on your left hand, and then breathe to the palm of hands. 
And as you breathe out, glide your little finger back. Taking hold of your ring finger. As you breathe, breathe to the front of heart and energize heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, glide your ring finger down, glide it down, glide it back. Release, taking hold of your middle finger. As you breathe in, press your feet to floor, lengthen side ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, as you push the floor away, reach the heel of your left hand forward. Release, taking hold of your first finger. Now breathe in, glide your thumb away from index finger. And as you push the floor away on exhale, glide your first finger back. Taking hold of your thumb. Now breathe in and spread your thumb away from your index finger. And as you breathe out, heel of the hands towards, uh, towards the sky. Release, change hands. Taking hold of the little finger on your right hand, ease it back. Breathe into lower back, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Push the floor away on exhale, glide your little finger back. Take hold of your ring finger. Breathe to heart, deep breath. And as you breathe out, open your hands skywards as if you're opening your heart. Press your feet to floor, breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. As you exhale, feel for lengthening ankles away from heels, spread the fingers. Taking hold of your first finger. As you breathe in, glide your thumb away from your first finger. And as you breathe out, spread fingers, keep pushing floor away with feet. Take hold of your thumb. As you breathe in, breathe into lower back, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you push the floor away, glide your thumb back. Restretch your stage two so the hands, uh, fingers are onto the mat just above your head. The fingers are pointing towards your sit bones. Press your feet to floor, breathe in, feel as if you're lifting sternum. And as you breathe out, heel of the hands reaches to the floor. Pelvis tilts and sending thighs and knees away from you. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your uh, palm of the hands opening, push the floor away. Relax your arms to the side. Take a deep breath to side ribs. And as you breathe out, lift up, push the floor away. Grabbing hold of your block. And as you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, push the floor away, lift up and place a block on the, your sacrum, maybe you've done this already. Then anchor into your right foot, breathe in, lift your left leg up, draw the left knee to chest. And as you breathe out, reach your left leg up towards the sky, reach out, spread the toes as you lengthen that left leg up. Now breathe in and feel as if you're gliding your left thigh away from left hip. Press your right foot to floor and reach your right leg straight up towards the sky. On the next breath, bend your left knee and hook your left foot over your right thigh just above the knee, similar to the, uh, similar to the shoelace pose. And as you breathe out, you're gliding your left thigh towards the left away from hip. As you breathe, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Press your right foot to floor on exhale, glide your left thigh away from you. On the next breath, release your left foot, draw the left knee towards your chest. And then as you breathe out, place your left foot to the floor. Anchor into left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up, draw right knee to chest. And as you breathe out, reach in your right leg straight up, reach out, spread the toes. As you breathe, feel as if you're gliding right thigh away from right hip. And as you breathe out, reach, reaching that right foot up to sky. 
On the next breath, bend your right knee, draw right knee to chest. And as you breathe out, hook your right foot over your left thigh, just above the knee. Uh, reach out with your heels, flex toes back. Now breathe in and feel as if you're moving belly away from your right thigh. And as you breathe out, feel the gliding right thigh, right thigh and knee away from you. Now feel these openings and the sensations that are coming up. Breathe in, lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, keep moving your right thigh away. On the next breath, bend your right knee, draw the knee towards your chest. And as you breathe out, place your right foot to the floor. Now feet presses to the floor, breathe in, telescoping ribs, belly away from pelvis, lower ribs away from sacrum. Press your feet to the floor, exhale, tilt pelvis, lift up, move the block. Feed yourself with this breath, deep breath. And exhale, tilt pelvis lower, upper back to floor. Pelvis tilts lower, mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis lowering all the way down to floor. Keep the tilt. Travel lifting through is your, is your next pose. So your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Your feet are lifting up the, off the floor and you're reaching your legs straight up towards the sky and then straddling the legs out towards the side. You can also do uh, frog. You can have your feet up against a wall if your back is tweaky. You can have your feet up against a wall in straddle as well as in frog. Lower back presses to floor. Breathe in, lift head, lift chest. Reach your elbows to stand. Exhale, curl tailbone up and then lengthen your legs out towards the side. Reach out with the balls of your feet, pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis and lower your head about an inch, shoulder breath. And exhale, curl tailbone up, now lengthen, reach, reach out with the balls of your feet. Keep the chest lifted as you reach your elbows up to sky, pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but this time lift your head, lift your chest. Reach your elbows up as if you are on locking shoulders. And exhale, curl elbows up, and then stretching your legs out to side, pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, and lower your head and in, shoulder breath. And exhale, curl elbows up, bend your legs out towards the side. Keep the chest lifted, pull lower belly in. Press your lower back to floor. Inhale, lower pelvis. This time, lift your head, lift your chest, reach your elbows up. Exhale, curl elbows up and then send. Keep lengthening your legs out to side, pull lower belly in. Inhale, release. Lower no head and shoulders to floor, bring hands by thighs, draw your legs together, place the soles of your feet to floor, and roll to your right side. Left hand is to floor by chest, inhale. Exhale, push the floor away with your left hand as you come on up. Use your right hand to support your head and neck as you come on. So your next pose is Dolphin. So today, do dolphin and dolphin flash prep. That's where we're going with this. So I'll show you uh, the pose and then we'll come into this. In the measurements, your hands are onto your biceps to measure, your elbows are to the floor, you're reaching your hands forward, fingers are spinning. In dolphin, you breathe in, you lift, you spread the back, you curl toes on you. Exhale, you lift your knees off the floor in this shape. You're moving into flash prep. Your right hand is coming back. So the right hand is, if my knees were on the floor, I brought my right hand back where my uh, knee is. The elbow and wrist are aligned. So here is the setup for your flash prep. 
your elbow wants to tuck out and that's in this way you want to squeeze it in as if i'm squeezing it up against the side so the setup here inhale lift bend back toes curled under exhale lift the knees off the floor keep tucking the elbow in so that's your flash prep if you want to go further you work with flash prep one leg up in this way foot comes down knees come down and then you would change for the other side so starting with dolphin hands on the biceps reach your hands forward spread the fingers or clasp your hands relax your neck relax your shoulders relax your upper back breathe into upper back deep breath lift spread back curl toes under exhale lift knees off the floor and lengthen through the spine as you reach your sit bones back breathe in and spread your upper back relax your collarbones and exhale reach back send the back of your thighs back of the calves to the back wall breathe in expand so feel your ribs opening wide to armpits and as you breathe out send your sit bones back pull your belly in and move chest closer to thighs and knees as you breathe, your lengthening ribs away from sacrum. As you breathe out, reach your sit bones back, reach heels to floor. Inhale, release, bend the knees and come on down to the floor. So from here, you have the option now of coming into dolphin flash prep. Measurements is the same. Left hand is forward, right hand is back, elbows are tucked in. If you don't want to do this, then do dolphin with your palms facing upwards or dolphin with hands clasped. Do the pose. And then breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl toes under. Your right hand is back, the elbows bent. Exhale, use your hands, push the floor away, coming into dolphin flash press. Tuck your right elbow in. And then breathe in. Feel as if you're breathing into your heart. And as you breathe out, push back, squeeze your elbow in and reach back, heels to floor. Deep breath, breathe into upper back. Use your forearms, push the floor away, especially that uh, left forearm, push the floor away as you reach back. You want to work with one leg up, anchor into your right leg, breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back, spread the toes. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, reach back. Keep tucking your right elbow in. Let me just take your right hand back slightly, about two inches, a bit more, a bit more, and then tuck it in. Yeah. And then, yeah, now you protect your shoulders. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, push the floor away as you send your left leg back. On the breath, place your left foot back to the floor and coming down and change the measure up and then change and inhale and exhale lift up lift the knees off the floor as you reach back good anya tuck your left elbow in a bit take the hands back about two inches yeah not good now that's it that protects your shoulders a little bit more now everyone breathe in deeply and exhale reach back anchor into your left foot breathe in lift your right leg up and as you breathe out stretch it back spread the toes as you reach back as you breathe breathe to sternum and fill your heart up with this breath and as you breathe out as you reach back keep pushing the floor away with your left arm tuck your left elbow in Good. Deep breath, inhale, breathe in into your right hip and exhale, stretch your right leg way back. On the next breath, lengthen your right foot to the floor. Place it all the way down and exhale, then bend the knees and come on down. Take a breath in embryo. Well Here, come into stand. Stand 
on your mat, the middle of your mat, and stand in horse stance. So your feet, they're about two and a half feet away from each other. Your knees are bent, toes are turned out, and the knees are pointing in the same direction of the knees. Try to sit really deep. So your sit bones are reaching down, and your thighs are opening out towards the side. Hands are onto thighs, and you're tractioning your thighs away from you. From here, so you're doing Agnisara going slow. You relax your belly, you breathe in, and then exhale, moving the belly nice and slow, doing all of this on the same breath. And breathe in. And exhale. Tuck the chin in, suck your belly in and up. Let it go. Suck it in and up. Let it go. Suck it in and up. And release. Two rounds fast. Breathe in. And exhale. Chin is stuck in. And you're moving your belly. Keep pressing hands to thighs. Keep pressing feet to floor. And creating length in the spine as your sit bones tucks down. And one more. Breathe in. And exhale. Chin tucks in and moving belly as fast as you can. Keep moving the thighs out towards the side. Sit bones presses down. Keep moving belly. And release. Gain horse dance, bird wing. Tuck your elbows in. And then turn so the palm of the hands are facing each other, thumbs pointing skyward. Stay in the pose, go deep into the pose. Press your feet down, lift the toes. Now breathe in and draw hands together. Keep the elbows tucked in. And as you breathe out, open arms out towards the side. Reach your arms back as much as you can. Then breathe in, hands together. Exhale, lift the chest and then open arms out. Keep reaching your arms back, shoulders squeeze back. Inhale. And then exhale, opening out. Two more, inhale. Exhale as you open out. One more, inhale. And exhale. And release. Stand, heel toe feet together, and then stand at the front of your mat. Standing at the front of your mat. Stand with your feet together or feet slightly apart. If your back is tweaking, feet slightly apart. Press your feet to floor, move straight into chair pose. So from here, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, sweep your arms back. Lift your chest, move your chest forward, but reach your sit bones back. Feels as if you're sitting or falling backwards. So feet anchors to floor, and as you breathe in, lengthening ribs away from waist. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. As you breathe in, move your chest forward, away from thighs and knees. And as you breathe out, step back or hop it back into plank. Keep the elbows tucked in and lower down, keeping elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And exhale, press it back for downward facing dog. Stay here in downward dog. Spread the fingers as you breathe in, feel as if you're broadening the upper back. And as you breathe out, push the floor away, feel as if you're lengthening your wrist away from your hand. Keep the leg relaxed. Breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, reach back, send your sit bones back, back of the thighs, back of the calves, reaches backward. From here, Anchor into your right foot. Breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back. Breathe into left hip. Feel for sending left thigh away from left hip. And as you breathe out, reach it back a little bit more. One more like this. Deep breath. 
as you breathe out, reach your left leg back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, warrior two. Your right foot is towards the back edge of the mat. Square the foot up and line up your left heel with the arc of the back foot. The arms are reaching out towards the side. Press into both feet, breathe in. Push the floor away with your feet as you stretch out. And as you breathe out, go in a little deeper into pose. Relax your arms to the side, both shoulder shrugs. Take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze top tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze. Mid tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Elbows bent. And exhale, squeeze. The low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze the mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Elbows bent. And exhale, squeeze. The low tips of shoulders draw down. Inhale, release. Feel the strength in your legs. Press your feet to the floor. And then notice the sensations that comes up for you now. Extended warrior variation. Place your left forearm onto your left thigh. Reach your right arm around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh. And then from here, if you place your left hand onto the thigh and your right hand, your traction, so press into your left foot and then breathe in, lift your ribs away from that hip. And as you breathe out, traction your thigh away from you. Then relax your forearm onto the thigh. Press into your right leg, breathe in, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, slightly roll your chest open as you glide your right shoulder away from right ear. Breathe in and keep lifting your left ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder back and send your sit bones back towards your right heel. One more breath, breathe to heart. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're curling pubic bone to navel and releasing your lower back. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down so the hands are either side of your left foot. As coming down, place your right knee to the floor for pigeon. Your left foot is coming towards your right hip. Pigeon is your pose. So from here, hands are under the shoulders. Bear down into pelvis, breathe in, lift belly, dive from mid chest. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward over your left shin. Breathe into lower back and lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you fold deeper, reach back into your right big toe. And now breathe to where you feel this most. And exhale as you let your body melt forward. As you breathe, expand your ribs as wide as you can. And as you breathe out, send your sit bones back towards your right heel. Breathe to heart, deep breath. And exhale, release. Ease your hands under the shoulders. Curl the toes under of your right foot and step your left leg back for plank. Then reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping your elbows tucking in. Breathe into cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Shoulders away from your ears. And as you breathe out, press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. Spread the fingers, spread the web of your hands. As you breathe in, 
to spread your feet out a couple of times, reaching your heels to the floor. From here, anchor into your left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back. As you breathe in, feel for sending your right thigh bone back away from him. As you breathe out, as your left foot reaches to the floor, send your right leg back a little bit more. One more breath, deep breath. Keep moving your right thigh back away from right here. As you breathe out, reach your left heel to the floor. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Your left foot is straight to the short edge of the mat, front heels aligned with the arc of the back foot. Arms out to the side, and then relax your arms down by your hips. Press your feet to floor, then shoulder shrugs, breathe in, into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, low tips of shoulders. Draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders. Draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders. Draw down, inhale, spread. Keep the neck long. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze, the low tips of shoulders, draw down, release, put your arms out to side. Now press your feet to floor, and as you breathe in, lengthen up, feel as if you're pushing the floor away. And as you breathe out, extended warrior variation, your traction in your right thigh away from your left arm is around the back, and place it onto the thigh. Do the same as we did last time, press your Right foot to floor and breathe in, traction your thigh away from the hip. And as you breathe out, go a little deeper. Relax your right forearm onto right thigh. Relax your right ear to a right shoulder. Press into your right leg, breathe in, lift your ribs away from that hip. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from your ear. So feel this opening right across your sternum. Press your left foot to floor. And then breathe in, lengthen out through the left side, diaphragm, chest lifts. And as you breathe out, gliding your left shoulder away from left ear. Breathe into the right, left side of your neck, deep breath. And exhale, relax your jaw, lower your nose as if towards the uh, right shoulder. One more breath, lengthen, lengthen your ribs, your right ribs lengthens away from right sit bone. And as you breathe out, send your sit bones back towards your left heel. Inhale, release, hands down either side of your uh, right foot, place your left knee to the floor as you set up for pigeon. Your right foot is easing towards your left hip. As you bear down into pelvis, breathe in, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. You can have the toes curled under or straighten that uh, left leg. So breathe in and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you fold. Breathe in and expand your ribs wide, as wide as you can, opening up to armpits. Now exhale, reach back into your left big toe. From your pelvic bowl, breathe in, lengthening belly away from pelvis. And exhale, pull belly in as you fold, glide your right thigh forward as you reach your right, left thigh back. 
you now release your hands under the shoulders, step back into uh, a, a kneeling, kneeling position or a seated position. I'll just demonstrate where we're going next. Your next pose today is a flash, flash prep on the wall. So I'll give you some options with this pose. So you've just done flash, you've just done dolphin flash prep. The setup is exactly the same. Hands are onto your uh, biceps to measure, your elbows are to the floor. My feet, uh, soles of my feet are onto the wall just to give you distance and range. My left hand is reaching forward as I would for dolphin. And my right hand is now coming back as I would for flash prep. I'm tucking my right, right elbow in. From here, so again, the elbow and wrist are aligned. Sometimes you see this, uh, so you're keeping the wrist and elbow aligned. From here, you breathe in, you lift, you spread the back, you curl toes under. As you exhale, you lift your knees off the floor and reach back. This might be your pose today. You can go further, you're stepping one, and you step both feet onto the wall, Keep tucking your right elbow in. So this is your flash breath. Aim to stay here for three breaths. Then come down. And then change and do the same the other side. Just coming up, keeping the elbows tucking in. Three breaths, come down. And then come into downward dog once you're done. You don't want to do that pose today, then do dolphin with your hands clasped. So your, your measure, measurement is the same, elbows are down, reach your hand forward, clasp your hand, and then do dolphin on the wall in this way as your alternative. If you're doing dolphin in this way, your breath counts as you're aiming for six to eight breaths in that pose. If you're doing flash, then your count is uh, both feet onto the wall, three breaths, three to four breaths on each side. Okay, go ahead. I'll come and observe. So tuck your elbow in a little yeah, yeah, a bit more clint. Look, window, press down into your forearms. Yeah, just as you did just then, just then. And then breathe in, breathe into your back. And then push the push the floor away. Move chest to closer to wall, belly's in. Good, nice, nice Mario. Good, good. Once you're all done, come into the uh, come into all fours, and then come into half style. So bend the knees, fold forward as you breathe in. Glide your chest and ribs forward for cobra. Reach your elbows back, send your legs back. And as you breathe out, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing to away in your downward facing dog. Triangle on the next breath as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Your right foot is squared to the short edge of the mat, straighten your left leg. Your left hand is down to the floor. It may be on a block. Straighten your left leg as you reach your right arm up towards the sky. Press into your left foot as you breathe and lengthen ribs away from that left hip. And as you breathe out, slightly roll your chest as you reach in your right fingertips up towards the sky. Anchor into your right foot and then breathe and feel for lengthening belly away from pelvis. Diaphragm is lifting, chest is moving towards your chin. And as you reach your left arm down, reach your right arm up. 
Press your left foot to floor. And as you breathe in, kick traction in your ribs away from hip. As you breathe out, glide your right sit bone back. You have the option now of bringing your right arm all the way around the back and tucking it onto your left thigh. And then traction your side ribs, left ribs away from your left hip. Coming in, coming further into the pose, bend your left knee, place your left hand onto the floor about 12 inches forward, six inches towards the side. And then breathe in, push the floor away with your right foot as you lift your right foot off the floor. Reach your right leg back for half move. You're standing on your left foot. As you breathe in, lift and lengthen your ribs away from left hip. As you breathe out, reach your right heel away from you. If you're going further, release your right arm up towards the sky. And if you have further to go, bend your right knee for quarter move, grabbing hold of your right ankle with right hand. And then moving your right thigh back. Press into your left foot and breathe in. Lift your side ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, send your right thigh back. You're going further, vertical splits. Both hands are to the floor and you're reaching your right leg up towards the sky. Walk the hands closer towards your standing foot if you can. And then press into your left foot as you traction belly away from thigh. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your right leg up towards the sky. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release, hands to the floor, step your right leg back, and then step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. Breathe into cobra, move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing your away in downward dog. On the breath as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for triangle. Straighten your right leg. Your right hand is to the floor and your left arm is reaching up towards the sky. Press down, feel as you press down into your right foot, traction your belly away from right thigh. And as you breathe out, reach with the fingertips of your left arm up to sky. Anchor your left foot to floor and then breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, as you reach your right arm down, tuck your right sit bone under, left arm reaches to sky. Option to bring your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh and then traction your side ribs away from that left right hip. Deep breath, inhale. As you breathe out, send, press your right foot to the floor, send your sit bones back. Half moon, bend your right knee, place your right hands onto the floor, 12 inches forward, six inches to the right. And then breathe in, ease forward, Lift your left foot off the floor, reach it back, reach out with your heels. Option, reaching your left arm to sky. As you breathe, press into your right foot and lengthen your ribs forward away from hip. And as you breathe out slightly, rolling open towards the left, reach back into your left heel. Quarter moon, if you want to go, bend the knee and reach your left hand back, take hold of your ankle and extend your left thigh and knee away from you. And breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, reach back, that left leg lengthens back. Vertical splits, hands to the floor, and reach your left leg up towards the sky. Walk your hands closer towards your standing foot. And as you press into your right leg, breathe in, lengthen belly away from thigh. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your left leg up. Chest is moving down towards your right shin. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your left foot to the floor. And then coming down so that 
I'll show you where we're going next. So your next post here is you have an option to do standing pigeon. Uh, if you're doing standing standing pigeon, you're standing on your right leg, you're lifting your left leg up and you're moving the knee towards your chest or take hold of the foot, sorry, knee, you're moving the foot towards your chest in this way. Aiming for three to four breaths on each side. So that's one to both sides. Otherwise you can do a flying pigeon and your flying pigeon, I'm starting with my feet up against the wall, hands down some in a, a shortened version, version of uh, downward facing dog. I'm stepping one foot up onto the wall and step the other foot up. Straighten. I'm straightening my right leg and my left foot is coming back into pigeon. I'm walking my hands slightly closer to the wall and then pushing into flying pigeon in this way. Actually, my hands could be closer to the wall. The closer your hands are to the wall, the more challenging it is to get out. So your flying pigeon or standing pigeon is your pose. And for three to four breaths on each side. Then walk your hands closer to the wall up window. Nice money. Yeah, bring the foot a little bit higher uh, on it. Yeah, yeah, just as you would, yeah. Yeah, exactly there. So you'll lower your hip and then bring the foot up. There, there, exactly. Now you start to feel that into glutes. Feel the, the standing leg, keep pushing the floor away with your standing leg. Really nice, Mario. So once you've done your breaths, three to four breaths on each side, change and do the other side. You're not supposed to fall out. <laughs> the closer you are to the wall, the harder it is to get out if you're doing flying pitch, if you're doing flying pigeon. Bring the, bring the foot that you're holding on here to me, that's it, and then lift it up. Let the hip comes down. Yeah, and then move the foot up a bit more. Keep sending, yeah, yeah, that's it. Your feel starts working into glutes. Once, you, once you've done your nice, nice clip, that looks really easy for you. Then step back into downward facing dog once you've done your count. Downward facing dog, as you breathe in, step your uh, left foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Arms reach out, warrior two, bending that front knee and reaching back into the uh, edge of your right foot. From here, come into head to ankle prep. Face your left hand onto left thigh, you're tractioning your thigh away from you. Bring your right hand to the floor towards your right foot. Press down into your left foot. As you breathe in, glide your ribs away from your uh, left thigh. And as you breathe out, glide your left thigh towards the left and your forehead moves towards your right foot. Feel spent in legs. And as you breathe in, move traction belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, balloon your left wrist towards the left as you bring your forehead closer towards the right foot. One more like this, deep breath. 
and then traction thigh away from you, opening the left side of the body. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down so the hands center of the mat. Turn your left foot forward so both feet are facing in the same direction. From here, plank stretch. You're walking your left arm across, taking hold of your right uh, ankle. Your left elbow is reaching to the floor. Your right hand grabs hold of the ankle. Anchor into left leg, breathing left and reach away from left hip. And as you breathe out, you're bringing your forehead towards your right ankle. Bend your left elbow. And then breathe in, hips lengthening out of your. And you should breathe out, folding deeper. If you want to go further, bring your right hand onto sacrum or bring your right hand around the back, tuck it onto your left thigh by hip. And as you anchor your left foot to floor, breathe in, lengthen away, twist away from your left thigh. And as you breathe out, you're coming closer to the floor. You want to go further, you can reach your right arm up towards the sky. And then breathe in, lengthen out of your left side. And as you breathe out, twist away from your right leg. Inhale, release, hands to the floor. Walk your hands uh, center. And then you're coming down into uh, pigeon. Pigeon sternum to foot. Your left foot is east towards your right hip. And then make the foot, uh, make the foot at the right angle if you can. Grabbing hold of your left foot with both hands. Pressing down into sit bone. Inhale, lengthen out of left side. And as you breathe out, bring your sternum towards the foot. If you can straighten your right leg, do so. And breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. As you breathe out, taking it a little deeper. Breathing into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you breathe. One more breath here. And inhale, release. Hands are under the shoulders. Step back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. On the breath, breathe in. Step your right foot forward between the hands. Warrior two. Bending the knees, feel the strength in legs. You reach your arms out. From here, you're coming into head to ankle prep. So you're Right hand traction to your right thigh towards the right. Your left arm is down by your left foot. As you breathe, breathe into right hip. As you breathe out, glide your right thigh towards the right and twist. Your forehead is moving towards your left shin, towards left ankle. Press your feet to floor and breathe in length and belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, glide your right thigh towards the right. Your right ribs open towards the right, but your forehead is moving to left shin. Breathe into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, traction the thigh away from you. Inhale, release. Turn your right foot forward. Your neck poses flat stretch. Your left hand takes hold of your that left ankle, your right hand takes hold of your uh, left ankle. Press into your right leg as you breathe in, glide your ribs away from right hip. Bend your right elbow and bring your forehead closer towards your left shin. Now breathe in and lengthen ribs away from your right hip. And as you breathe out, as you fold a little deeper, bend your right elbow. You want to go further, bring your left arm up, bring it all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right hip. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're twisting away from your right hip. Anchor into your right leg, breathe in, lengthening the ribs away from right hip. Bend your right elbow on exhale. 
you want to go further, reaching your left arm up towards the sky. So breathe in, left and reach away from right hip. And as you breathe out, twist, open, open out towards the left. Keep the neck relaxed and relax your jaw. So one more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Bring the hands to the floor and step back for uh, pigeon sternum to foot. Your right foot is coming towards the left edge of the mat. Straighten your uh, left leg as much as you can. Sitting down onto your right sit bone, you've got a right angle for your right foot. Take hold of the foot with both hands. Straighten your left leg if you can. Breathe in, lift belly, dive on chest. And as you breathe out, bring your sternum towards the sky. You breathe in, keep lengthening, feeling for lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhaling as you come a little deep. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, moving sternum towards the foot. But relax your throat, relax your neck, and definitely relax your jaw. So one more, breathe to where you feel this motion. And as you breathe out, feeling for that release as you let go. Inhale, release. Step back into downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing your away in your downward dog. On the breath as you breathe in, rise up to very tips of toes. Exhale, reach back, move your chest to thighs and knees, reach heels to floor. On the next breath, walk your feet in so your feet have walked to your hands. And then from here, clasp the hand, the back of the neck, and your forearms is tucking onto jaw bones for four a bend. Press your feet to floor, and as you breathe in, lengthen the belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in as you're reaching your elbow tips to floor. Breathe in to lower back as your length and ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you lengthen through the spine, uh, use your forearms onto jaw bones to traction your neck. Relax neck and jaw as much as you can. Feel as if you're pressing into heels and breathe in lengthening belly away from pelvis. Pull your belly in, exhale as you fold. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, lengthen through the spine as you fold, belly is in. Inhale, release, place your hands to the floor and then coming down into a seated position. From here, reach your legs forward. Grab hold of your strap for shin down spinal twist. Keep your, left, keep your right leg reaching forward. Tuck your left foot so your left foot is now onto your right uh, side by hip for half lotus. Your strap is around your uh, left foot and it moves towards your left hip. Your right hand comes around the back, takes hold of the strap by your left hip. Press down into left sit bone, inhale, stretch your left arm is up. And as you breathe out, the left hand is coming down on the outside of your right ankle. You might be able to take hold of the foot or the hands to the floor. Relaxing your left ear to left shoulder. As you breathe in, lengthen out of your left side. And as you breathe out, lean back into your, as if your right shoulder leans back. If your left hand is onto the floor, push the floor away with your left hand and you, you lift your chest a little bit more. Now breathe to sternum. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're twisting away from your right thigh. Right shoulder is back away from your thigh. Press down into sit bone. As you breathe in, keep lengthening out of lower back. Roll chest open to the left, to the right on exhale. Relax neck, relax your jaw as much as you can. One more breath here, deep breath. 
and exhale, release. Unwind your legs. Change the cross of your legs. So your left leg is reaching forward. Your right foot is tucked onto your uh, left thigh for half lotus. You're using the strap. The strap is around your right foot. Then it comes towards your right foot. Left hand reaches around the back and grabs hold of the strap by your right hip. Pressing down into the sit bone. Breathe in, reach your right arm is up. And as you breathe out, the hand comes down on the outside of your left foot. Can't take hold of the foot, the ankle, or hands to the floor. As you breathe in, lengthen out of right side. As you breathe out, glide your left shoulder away from left ear. If you can, relax your right ear to right shoulder. And then breathe to sternum, chest lifts. And as you breathe out, keep moving your left shoulder back. So feel this open. Sit those presses down and breathe. Lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Feel as if you're pushing the foot away with your right hand as you lean back towards your left shoulder. One more breath. Breathe to where you need this most, where you feel this most. And as you breathe out, open it out a little more. Inhale, release. Release your legs. So your next pose, you'll be lying down onto your back. So if you want to pad your back, then do so. Uh, you're coming into, coming into Happy Baby. Today, I, I want you to just uh, play around with, your, with where your feet are and where you feel you get the at the higher level of release. So you can do like what is a fairly narrow happy baby. The knees are coming straight down to armpits, heels are reaching up, or play around with what gives you the opening. You can come into like straddle, almost straddling with, with your hands taking hold of your feet, or you can bend one knee straight on the other and vice versa. All of those gives you slightly variations in the stretch. So work, work with what works best for you. So aiming for about six breaths. So if you're working here, or if you're working with one leg at a time, three breaths uh, in that way. Close your eyes, and then come into the moment of, as to where you are. And then breathe, breathe into lower back, spreading the ribs to floor, and then exhale. Pull your belly in, heels are reaching up and away from you, Knees are coming down towards the armpits and then work out what, what feels best for you. Stay consistent with your breath. Allow your body to synchronize your movements. Just using this time to discover what is going on for you. Giving yourself time in your poses to work out what feels what feels nice. And then once you've done, use your hands at the side of your thighs and knees, draw your legs together and place the soles of your feet onto the floor. So you can stay here in this moment or bring the soles of your feet together so the knees are out towards the side. Or with your arms relaxed down by your side, straighten the legs, bringing your feet a little bit wider on your mat, allowing your body just to relax as it cools down in your final pose, Shavasana. Eyes are closed. Neck and shoulders are softening down away from your ears.
So make any adjustments so that you feel yourself completely relaxing as if you're surrendering to your mat, surrendering to the earth, surrendering to yourself. You're in a space, a safe space. So give yourself this time, this moment, just to let go. Let go of any thoughts. Just stay with feeling. And then, you know, again, don't feel that you must stay in a static place. If your body informs you that you can be in a, a space that feels so much nicer for you, then do so. And relax, relax the back of your skull. Feel how this opens the back of your neck. Relax your forehead, taking tension away from your forehead, away from your ears and jaw. Your eyes are closed and they're looking straight up if you're comfortable with that. And this is just a moment of helping you to focus, taking you away from the wandering mind, the wandering eyes. So look as if you're looking straight through your third eye. And then see those beautiful images that will rise up for you. Relax your nose, relax your mouth. And in relaxing your jaw, what help often assists if you open your mouth and moving your jaw from side to side, it really just feels for opening up deeper into jaw bones, into the almost as if it's into your ears working into your masseter muscles, down into your neck and scalies muscles. So even when you're not practicing yoga, although I wouldn't know why there's not a reason to practice yoga at every moment, but even when you're not practicing yoga, then you can move your jaw and really unlock your jaw bones, helping to release and reducing headaches. Relax your neck and relax your collarbones. Let your shoulders soften away from your ears and then relax your upper back. Relax your mid back. As you work towards your lower back, a slight tuck into tailbones, your lower back connects with the floor, your sit bones lengthens down towards your heels, and then feel this opening into hips, into pelvis. So this is where you've worked today, opening hips and pelvis. And then let go, relax your thighs again, let them go completely. Relax your buttocks and relax the side of your thighs, the inside of your thighs. And relax your hamstrings, relax your quadriceps. Soften the back of knees. It feels as if they lengthen as you, as if you're lengthening your calves down towards your ankles. And then let go, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your shins. Relax your ankles and feet, relax your toes. Giving yourself a moment to track, to track what you feel and the changes that are occurring in your body. Relax your belly. And then feel how your back opens up a little bit more. Relax your diaphragm. And feel for the softness around your heart. And it's almost like building that relationship with your heart. Not allowing your heart to be so hard so you can't, you're, so that you're disconnecting. Disconnecting from self, disconnecting from others. Let your arms relax and relax your shoulders. Relax triceps and biceps. Relax elbows, 
that's forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. Still the mind and allow yourself just to be. Staying with your intent of feeling what comes up for you. Begin to move your fingertips, the tips of toes, feeling the energy that moves back into your body. Gently invite that breath, energy in with breath. And then feel for moving in a way that delights your body. Once you've given yourself a nice little stretch, roll to your left side towards your heart center. Bring your right hand onto the floor by your chest and then breathe in. Push the floor away with your right hand. Come up. Use your left hand to support your head and neck. And come all the way up. Coming back into your seated position. Your hands together by sternum. Maybe feeling the beat of your own heart. Just give yourself a moment and feel this and give yourself a moment to acknowledge what you've done and congratulate yourself for your practice. Thank you all of you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. And all that is good, all that is honorable in me salutes all that is honorable and all that is good in you. Finishing with a breath, deep breath. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.